Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. If you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. I've got a very exciting video for you guys today. In today's video, we're going to be going over some more WWE action figure leaks and guys I'm really considering just changing my channel name to WWE and AEW action figure leaks because I feel like over the last three or four months all we really have been doing on the channel is going over WWE and AEW action figure leaks uh, it's just mind-blowing to me how many leaks we have been getting over and, you know in such a short amount of time you know we've always done leaked videos on the channel but like I said over the last three or four months it has just been absolutely insane but that's obviously just a joke guys i'm not gonna change my channel name or anything but i just wanted to say it's just absolutely insane but before we actually get into the video and get into all the leaks i want to say two quick things first off thank you all so much for the birthday wishes yesterday there's a reason why i call you guys the beautiful people the amount of people that wished me a happy birthday was just mind-blowing to me uh and, and all i could really say at this time is thank you guys so much you made my day so much better and i love you all so much another quick thing i wanted to say i am currently at work right now so if you do hear any background noise I do apologize about that. Uh, I'm always at work doing these action figure leaked videos, guys. It's insane. And I always got to rush. I always got to try and get the video out without any interruption. But, you know, it's not an unstable 1047 video without any interruptions like background noises. Or even if we're at home doing the video, you're, we're going to hear a dog bark or something. It's just always a freaking distraction in the video. But hopefully you could just draw out any background noise and still enjoy the video because there is some exciting stuff we're going to be going over today. Uh, you're probably wondering, is it basics? I guarantee you guys it is not basics. Is it elites? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And the elite... The elites they are going to be a part of the elite line, I should say, is going to be the Survivor Series elite line, guys. And I am a big fan of, you know, of the pay-per-view, you know, elite lines, you know, the WrestleMania line, SummerSlam line, Royal Rumble line, and today the Survivor Series line. I'm just always a fan because, you know, we could get certain attires that we've wanted of these people in these pay-per-view lines, you know, it, it, rather than just waiting and hoping that we'll see it in the regular elite line. So I think these lines are really, really smart, really cool, and I enjoy them a lot but first we got to give a shout out to wrestling underscore figure underscore enthusiast because if it wasn't for him guys no one would know this information right now he did let me know uh yesterday early afternoon but of course i had that birthday unboxing i had to upload so this one had to wait a little bit longer i do apologize for the wait you guys had to wait but i'm sure a few of you already knew know this information because yesterday it started you know the word started getting out uh, but guys, like I said, if it wasn't for wrestling figure enthusiasts, no one would know this information right now. So if you are not following him, please go ahead and do so. He, you know, he recently helped us out with another leaked video, guys. So make sure you go, you guys go ahead and give him a follow. He is going to be a big part of this channel in the future because like I said, two leaks of, you know, major WWE figures coming because of him. So huge, huge shout out to him. But enough talking. I know you guys hate it when I talk a lot, but you know what? That's something you got to deal with on this channel. Talking a lot. Well, if we don't do the leaked videos, guys, how are the other YouTubers going to do the videos as well? Shots fired. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just kidding. Enough talking, really. Let's get to the actual video now, Unstable. But first up, guys, starting off the set, there are two current people and two legends. I just want to get that off right now. First up, we have the man, Keith Lee. Another elite in such a short amount of time, which is crazy to me. Of course, you know, it's the Survivor Series line, so it has to be Survivor Series attire. Now, we got these two attires right here. We could have the one on the left, or we could have the one on the right. Instantly, guys, you know, it's the Survivor series line probably gonna be coming out very very soon you know the one on the right recently just happened we all know it takes about nine to twelve months to get a new action figure in the line so really the the most logical attire that will be getting an elite figure is the one on the left you know really i wouldn't necessarily like another one you know in such you know um an attire that you know we've See, well, we haven't really seen it. Well, technically, we have, you know, such a 
uh, an attire that is, you know, so similar to his last figure that we got. Uh, I would rather like the right version because it is, you know, drastically different. You know, you know, he has the tie. He has the top. He has the shorts. He has the whole thing going on. Even though I don't like that attire uh, on him, it's just, you know, something a little bit different. But it does appear we will be getting the version on the left, uh, which is fine. Maybe you guys missed out on his, you know, elite. Um, what was it? Elite 82 Elite. Uh, and you, you want a new one? It looks like he will be getting a new one in the Survivor Series line. So that is pretty exciting. I'm a big fan of Keith Lee, uh, but this is probably one that I will be skipping. It depends. You know, my mind might change when we actually see the actual figure. Uh, but next up on the list, guys, we have Bailey. Pretty much the same thing here that was for Keith Lee. We have the one on the left that is most likely going to happen, and we have the one on the right that recently just happened. So I would not expect to see the version on the right because, you know, it didn't happen that long. We already talked about 9 to 12 months to make a figure, even though it would be cool to see that half SmackDown shirt on a Bailey figure. And I did like her the, the attire pants that she wore. Don't see it happening. However, I'm not, uh, I'm not mad at all because actually I like the version on the left better. It's going to be cool to see another updated Bailey Elite figure in the line. She is also supposed to be getting a basic as well. So we'll see how that looks. But this one is going to be cool for a few reasons. Obviously, it's going to be coming with the belt. Will it be coming with the jacket? I sure hope so. But most importantly, the thing on the top of her head, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I forget what it is. C kill me in the comment section below. I do apologize about that. But I'm sure you guys will correct me what it's actually called in the comment section below, whatever piece of jewelry that is. But uh, it's going to be cool to see, you know, that little accessory in action figure form. I'm, I'm really hoping they actually make it for this figure because without it, I feel like it would definitely be incomplete. But yeah, expect the version on the left, guys. So this this is really really cool next up guys we are getting brett the hitman heart uh i'm a little i'm i'm excited but but also at the same time i'm a little disappointed because we all know how bret hart figures have turned out in the past especially you know with the face scans obviously there's going to be hair in his face the the scans don't really look like bret hart that much maybe we will finally get a good bret hart head scan please i'm hoping so but remember guys it is the survivor series line um so we could you know get uh any Survivor Series, I believe Bret Hart made appearances at like 11 or 12 Survivor Series. So there is a decent amount of attires we could get. Now, one thing I, I, I didn't go over because I was in a rush to get this video out for you guys. We have got many Bret Hart figures in the past. So I'm sure we got, you know, one of the attires on the right, at least in the Elite line. But I feel like if they wanted to do something a little bit different, you know, a, a cool, unique Bret Hart, they would come out with the one on the left. I believe What was that, guys? Was that 1990? three if i remember right but the one on the left i think that would be really really cool you know something a little different than what we normally get for bret hart figures at least in that attire and honestly, I like that. I like that attire a lot. You know, it's pretty basic, but it's it's awesome at the same time. You know, the pink would pop. You know, it has the little logo on the chest there. So I think it would be a really, really cool one. But let me know, guys. You know, he had great Survivor Series moments. Of course, the Montreal Screwjob. Uh, of course, that crazy match with him and Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's a lot of options we could get for this Bret Hart. But you guys know me. I love the flashback. So I'm really, really excited as long as they get the face scan right this time. But we'll see. How, I don't have that many high hopes but uh, really, I would love the, the attire on the left. And lastly, guys, we are getting the Hulkster, baby. Hulk Hogan is coming back in the line. You know, we just got an Ultimate Edition of him. Finally, they are pumping out more Hulk Hogan figures. But I just went ahead and added four pictures for this video of what we might expect. You know, they are a little bit similar, all of them, but they all have their, you know, little differences. For example, the one on the left, you know, the top left one, obviously you could see the, the most different one is with that little uh would you call that a bandana because it's not like a full bandana uh what's the correct word i'm trying to think of it's it's not coming to mind but i don't want to spend too much a headband would that be it but you could obviously see you know the little hanging pieces the little hanging strings coming off of it i think that would be really really cool to get that of course you got the one to the right of that you know 
Hulkamania on top, the Hulk rule shirt, really, really awesome. But then again, I, I would like the one, you know, on the bottom left because that one comes with the Hulk rule shirt, of course, too. Uh, but of course, that would come with the full bandana and the chain. Then, you, of course, we got the one with the title and the different bandana on that one as well. Really, guys, what I'm trying to say is, as we are getting a lot of background noise right now, I wouldn't mind... Uh, any Hulk Hogan for me, I'm fine with, guys. Just give me all the Hulk Hogan figures you can, Mattel. I will buy every single one. But again, he has made a lot of Survivor Series appearances, so there is a few different attire choices we could get. But at this time, we don't know the attires. We could only speculate. Pretty much the only two you could kind of, you know, guarantee is the Keith Lee and Bailey. But we'll have to see for Bret Hart and Hulk Hogan. Of course, when we find out more information, I will, of course, make a video for you guys. But that was it for today's video guys let me know if you're excited for the upcoming survivor series elite line down in the comment section below thank you to my man wrestling figure enthusiast once again make sure you guys go ahead and give him a follow if you guys enjoy this video if you could please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you are a new viewer please subscribe for more i love each and every one of you and i will see you guys next time